Multiple myeloma is a condition that has a range of probabilities for survival. Historically, it has been thought to be an incurable malignancy, the survival of about you know, three to five years. Nowadays, multiple myeloma patients can often live greater than 10 years. Particularly patients who have no high-risk markers can live that long and sometimes beyond. I know we're seeing a growing number of patients in our practice that are living 15 and 20 years post the time of diagnosis, sometimes with one treatment, sometimes with many treatments. And some of them are actually cured from their disease. Having said that, there are subgroups of patients that have more aggressive disease for whom the treatments are not as effective and it's more challenging. So unfortunately, we still see patients that may succumb to their disease in a year or two after, after you know, diagnosis. And the medical teams are trying to find ways to better treat that group of patients, what we call high-risk myeloma. But on the average, it's, it's a chronic disease that will normally afford patients many years of life expectancy. I always tell patients it's very important to recognize one thing. So the treatments that I give you today probably won't be as good as the treatments that you would be able to get 10 years from now. Guess what? If because of the treatments you get today, you're able to live until then, then you will have options that you don't have now. And that's what the economists call the value of options. So new options will open up. And as you get this treatment, there's not only the intrinsic value of that treatment, but also the opportunities that it will open into the future.